Good. Fantastic. So good. How are you? So good. I just ripped my jacket off. Oh, oh no. No more weights, man. No more roids. No more the roids. Steroids. <laughs> the steroids are bad, kids. Stay away. Don't do drugs. How's Comic Con so far? It's your third time. I, feel, I know. I feel like a veteran. I feel like I've been to Nam like three times. Uh, it's good. You know, it's always it's, it's, Comic Con is the best. You know, it's always great. You know, I'm a fan of some of these shows. You know, that you know, that I'm a genre fan myself. So it's it's cool coming here. And, Know, being amongst it and, and seeing, you know, genre fans, and particularly Once fans, are very uh, unique and very passionate group of people, and that's the kind of fans you want. If you were to cosplay as somebody, who would you dress up as? Herschel from The Walking Dead. That's what I'm into right now. I mean, The Walking Dead, I think, is, I mean, apart from Once Upon a Time, I think it's probably one of the best shows on television. So, I, I'm, yeah, probably Herschel. He's my favorite character. With the ponytail? Yeah. Yeah. He's just the best. And I saw the whole cast. Uh, we were on the TV Guide boat. I saw the whole cast come up. I took a picture with the entire cast. I totally fangirled out on all of them. <laughs> so, that was pretty cool. It's been the highlight so far for me. So what can we expect from the Prince this year? Will it be more action here? Will it be more negotiating here? I think a bit of everything. You know, definitely a lot of action. There's been a lot of action so far. You know, we're all on this boat. We're all going to Neverland together. We have, you know, heroes. We have villains. We have a pirate. We have a savior. And all these characters live their life, uh, you know, with a different code, a, a different set of rules. So it's definitely going to be explosive. It's definitely going to be dynamic. It's definitely... You know, there's definitely going to be some fists that fly, for sure. What is your character's obsession with wearing the holster? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, you know, I think there was this whole idea that he wanted to he wanted to get back. He wanted to get back to fairy tale land. And, of course, he couldn't wear a sword. You know, a sword was of no use in sword broke. Although I think he probably could have found some uses for it, but I think it was just gave him something, you know, something he he, he wanted. He wants to get back to himself. And I think that's an important thing, uh, particularly for Charming this season, season three, is that moving forward with the character. You know, season one, we started out to where he didn't know who he was, and you know, all these characters didn't know who they were. The second season, of course, is broken. They find out who they are. And uh, the curse is broken, so then they have this duality. They, he gives this speech where you know we are both. And now I think this season is going to get. It's about him moving forward and getting back to his pure self. All of these characters getting back to who they truly are. And I think in moments of great turmoil and 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 great chaos, and I think this is certainly one of those moments. I think this is where Charmin really gets back to himself, and he has these moments of clarity where she really knows how to go forward. And I think there's definitely going to be some things that affect him in this first half of the season that it's going to be difficult for him to, he's going to have to try really hard to stay on that path of clarity. Do you think that Charming was a good sheriff? And what do you think he learned from that? Uh, no, I don't think he was a good sheriff. I think he made lots of mistakes. I think he makes mistakes all the time. I think he's super repulsive. Uh, I think he kind of runs into situations. I think he always has... He has a good heart. He has a really good heart, and he has a great moral code, but I think sometimes he's, he can get really hot-headed, and I think uh, that can get him into trouble sometimes when he doesn't stand, stand back and think about it for a second. Um, I think he did some good things, and I think he did some rash things. You know, I think he probably could have done more. I think he did the best that he could in, uh, in the situation. Kind of, um, building off of that, how do you think that's going to play into how he reacts in uh, Neverland? You know, Neverland's a new world to him. You know, I think he's, he's certainly never been, as far as I know. I mean, that could change. <laughs> Anything can happen in the show. But he's, I, as far as I know, he's never been. He's, he's aware of the land. He's aware of some of these characters that, are, that live in this place. So I think it's going to, you know, with all these characters, it's really their true colors are going to come out and shine, for sure. Since you can't say much about where things are going and stuff like that, could you give us some fake spoilers for your character? <laughs> he grows wings and uh, he uh, can shoot lightning bolts out of his hands. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Never ever thought that would happen. Never. Yeah. Ever. What are like the biggest 
biggest uh, dilemmas that you were, your character was arguing with Snow was, well, how, why are we not moving back to the Enchanted Forest? And she was like, why would we ever want to go back there when our family's here? We can't take them back there. It's dangerous. There's magic. People just die. Yeah, right. um, how important is that argument in the season? Uh, you know, I think we kind of came to a mutual kind of understanding by the end of last season that, you know, Fairytale Land was the place for us. And I think it is the place for us, you know, even though it is very different from when we left it, you know, it's not the same, it's desolate, it's, it's a destroyed land, and I think, who knows, you know, I think, you know, eventually, I mean, I don't know, I really don't know if they'll ever go back, I think... I think for Charming, it's important that they go back, you know, it's important for him, I think he wants to go back, but who knows, maybe they create a new life in a new realm, or who knows, you just, I have no idea. Because this was Family Robinson in, yeah, uh, in Neverland. Neverland, yeah, exactly, yeah. living in the trees, that'd be kind of cool. It's warm, it's tropical. Disney owns it. Disney owns it. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> good point. Yeah. yeah. Of course, by that method, we could have Iron Man showing up, too. So. That's true, yeah. yeah that's I would, true. I would, I would put it back. <laughs> <laughs> is it hard when, because Disney has made this character so familiar, we saw like the teaser trailer, we knew it was Little Mermaid because she grabbed a fork, yeah. which is a wholly Disney. Is it, is it hard? Like, some people are separating the myth from the, what Disney has created. Is it weird? Like, uh, no, I think that's what's fun about it. I think that's what that's what's great about taking all these characters and kind of spinning them on their heads and, and showing you different sides of all these characters and not just doing strictly the Disney version or strictly the once upon a time once upon a time version or strictly you know whatever version is out there. I think it, it's great that we kind of created our own our own mashup. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys.